to Take Oceanography News. same percentage of salt in our blood that exists in the ocean and therefore uh, we have salt in our blood in our sweat in our tears we are tied to the ocean and when we go back to the sea whether it is to sail or to watch it we are going back from whence we came Here at D2 Incorporated in Ocean News, we have a true passion for the ocean. And we love people going out there and pushing the limits and exploring the ocean. One of those people is Christian Catlin. And he says, an exciting day trying to get northward in the ice. Southerly winds make for slow progress. And there's a little video put together with still images from his journey shows us the exploration of the ocean by researchers in the modern day. from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Mariners have reported larger-than-life waves for centuries, but had no way to prove they existed. That changed in 1995, when scientific instruments measured a wave over 84 feet, 25.6 meters in the North Sea. Since then, scientists and mathematicians have figured out what causes waves to go rogue, but the jury is still out on why they happen. Find out what's behind the next big one on Huey's website, link in the description box. Next story comes from Naval Service Warfare Center, Carterock Division, from the revolutionary stealth technology of the Sea Shadow, aka Darth Vader's yacht, to today's cutting edge advancements. Naval Surface Warfare Center, Carterock, has a long and powerful history of partnering with American industry to develop modern marvels. On Easter Sunday, 1993. The Sea Shadow surpassed all expectations on signature tests off Santa Cruz Islands. Just like the Sea Shadow's stealth was a game changer, born from Navy and industry collaboration, this powerful legacy continues at Naval Surface Warfare Center Carterock as we directly support rebuilding America's maritime industrial base. 
Cod Rock, the Navy's innovation and ship design powerhouse. Speaking of naval and industry collaboration, D2 Incorporated will be collaborating with multiple navies at this year's Combined Naval Event 2025, May 20th to 22nd in Farnborough, United Kingdom. We're very happy to be an exhibitor and we hope to see all of you there. Stop by booth A43. Out of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, did you know that 90% of the excess heat in Earth's atmosphere has been absorbed by the ocean? This graph shows temperature anomalies averaged over the global ocean to a depth of 1900 meters in the past 20 years. Temperatures have slowly but steadily increased, even in deep water. That heat fuels stronger storms, contributes to sea level rise, disrupts marine ecosystems, and affects people and communities across the globe. Our impact on the ocean is undeniable, but so is our potential to create change. Ocean science turns potential into progress. The data that went into this graph comes from the International Argo Program, a global network of subsurface robots measuring ocean temperature and salinity. HUI operates 10% of the global Argo fleet, and we share the data with researchers and weather services around the world. With Argo and other ocean monitoring programs, we're helping manage resources, protect ecosystems, and prepare for extreme weather events. However, HUI can't do all of this powerful work alone. You should support organizations like Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution so they can further develop their understanding of the world around us. And D2, for that part, is now going to be involved in the Argo program coming up as we are donating two of our sensors to that program so that they can compare it to the industry standard to see if we can improve the overall industry and its precision for its salinity, temperature, and depth measurements across the entire industry and for all of the Argo fleet. So we are now directly helping out with these types of programs here at D2 Incorporated. Another story out of Hui. What's living under Antarctica's ice shelves? When a Chicago-sized iceberg broke off the Antarctica Peninsula in January, a team of researchers led by Schmidt Ocean Institute quickly pivoted to explore an area that had been covered by the ice for centuries. Using a remotely operated vehicle to take samples and images, the team found a thriving ecosystem rivaling those in nutrient-rich open waters. Hui geobiologist Joan Bernard says this rare opportunity provided valuable information about how currents can sustain deep sea life. You can learn more at the American Geophysical Union's EOS website, which we'll find in the description box with the other links. Exclusive, Hunting Ingalls, HII, lifts the veil on secretive Dark Sea Labs Tech Integration Office. Shipbuilder HII has established an office focused on integrating technologies from across various business units with the aim of replicating similar cross-cutting endeavors at the Pentagon, a senior executive recently revealed to breaking defense. On paper, that means proactively looking for opportunities where the research and development of one business unit might stand to benefit another, if only the right conduit was in place to bring the two together. In practice, Chowning said DSL has had a hand in integrating the Navy's conventional prompt strike weapon on board the Zumwalt class destroyers using artificial intelligence to improve HII's shipyard's output and working on the launch and recovery of unmanned undersea vehicles from traditional submarines. Much of the efforts revolve around HII mission technologies, which in contrast to company shipyards in Virginia and Mississippi that hold premier shipbuilding contracts, is focused on technologies such as unmanned systems, C5I, SR, and artificial intelligence. For example, Mission Technologies is largely responsible for developing the company's unmanned underwater vehicles, UUVs, that HII hopes will one day operate from the Navy's submarines. In similar vein, HII hopes DSL's efforts will help the company expand its work inside the Pentagon. 
Chonin pointed to the recent Other Transaction Agreement, OTA, HII received from the U.S. Army to develop a high-energy laser as a potential future opportunity. That weapon, HII's first public debut into the field of directed energy, is envisioned to help Army bases and vehicles defend themselves from small to medium-sized drones. Speaking of drones, meet Remus, a powerful ocean robot built for science and exploration. Designed at Huey, Remus, short for Remote Environmental Monitoring Units, are autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, that help us explore and monitor the ocean efficiently. Operated with just a laptop, these torpedo-shaped robots are compact, sensor-packed, and can dive from coastal shallows to open ocean. Remus vehicles use acoustic navigation to independently survey a given area while sensors sample and record data. Outfitted with a variety of instruments, soon including D2-Ink CTDs, these AUVs move through the water like an underwater lawnmower, mapping the seafloor, monitoring ocean conditions, and supporting critical missions, including infrastructure inspections and national security operations. From civilian science to national defense, Remus helps us unlock the mysteries of the ocean while keeping people and ecosystems safe. Learn more at the link in the description box. Ocean News would like to thank Sir David Attenborough by bringing awareness to his new film. As stated here by Oliver Bolton, CEO and co-founder of Earthly, 99 years old, still showing us the way. Sir David Attenborough is a living legend, and thankfully, he's not done yet. His new film, Ocean with David Attenborough, is a powerful love letter to the sea. A breathtaking journey through coral reefs, kelp forests, and vast open ocean. His message is clear. No part of our planet is more vital, more fragile, and more full of life and wonder than the ocean. As always, Sir David speaks truth to power, laying bare what's at stake from destructive fishing practices to coral bleaching. But he also brings something we need more than ever, hope. The ocean can recover faster than we ever imagined. It can bounce back to life. In the face of climate and nature crisis, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But voices like Sir David's help light the way, reminding us what we're fighting for and that renewal is possible. He's been a constant source of inspiration to me and to so many of us working to restore nature. At Earthly, his words are often in the background of what we do, helping accelerate our mission to protect and regenerate the natural world. To the man who has spent a lifetime opening our eyes, thank you. You, sir, are a national treasure. So his film is now in the cinemas. It started being shown on May 8th, so I'm sure it's still out there for you to go out and see. Go out and check it out. It's called Ocean with David Attenborough, and I'm about to play a trailer for it now. The ocean can recover faster than we had ever imagined. It can bounce back to life. Put simply, we've been given a lifeline. It may not just recover, but thrive beyond anything anyone alive has ever seen. This is the story of our ocean. And how we must write its next chapter together. For if we save the sea, we save our world. After a lifetime of filming our planet, I'm sure that nothing is more important. The next story comes from Bobby Bascom, Newswire editor, Manga Bay. Scientists with the Schmidt Ocean Institute have released the first ever video recording of a colossal squid in its natural deep sea habitat, 2,000 feet below the surface of the sea. But this wasn't the 1,100 pound giant we might imagine. The squid is just a foot long, a baby. Till now, most of what we know about colossal squid has come from bits of squid found in the bellies of predators. In fact, the species was only first described 100 years ago from pieces of it found in a sperm whale's stomach. Deep sea research like this is shedding light on one of the least explored parts of our planet.
The next story is a throwback from Huey to last year's discovery of five new hydrothermal vents in the Pacific. After a night of mapping deep sea hotspots with our robot sentry, scientists from Huey Scripps Institute of Oceanography, CNRS, and Lehigh University targeted areas of interest with our deep sea sub Alvin. Exploring at 2,550 meters depth, they found vents spewing 300 degrees C. 570 degrees Fahrenheit fluids teeming with life. The newly discovered vents are located on the East Pacific Rise near 10 degrees north, part of a globe-spanning mid-ocean ridge volcanic mountain chain, where two tectonic plates are splitting apart at a rate of about 11 centimeters, 4.3 inches per year. You can find out more about how scientists use deep sea tech to expand our understanding of life on Earth at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute's website linked in the description box. And this was National Science Foundation funded. Our last story is a follow-up to a story from our last Ocean News episode where we covered the return of right whales to Massachusetts. Well, now I have a video of the mother and calf whale swimming together. The special day shines a light on critically endangered North Atlantic right whales. This video filmed recently in Cape Cod Bay shows a right whale mother named Blackheart with her second calf. It also shows the whale swimming in a V-shape with one whale in the lead, a pattern known as echelon feeding. Right whales face threats like entanglement in fishing gear, vessel strikes, and a rapidly changing habitat. At Huey, researchers are advancing solutions to protect them, ranging from real-time acoustic monitoring to testing fishing gear that reduces the risk of entanglement while supporting coastal livelihoods. Please make sure to subscribe and like and share this video and head over to d-2.com slash news and bookmark our news page and check it regularly so you don't miss out on important updates like my recent interview with Marine Technology News. Thanks again for watching and hope you have a wonderful day.